Hi, welcome back to the home team. In a throwback to a story from last season, we went out to the London Curling Club, this time to check in on high school curling. In a week that saw the Western Fair Sports Center host some of the best curlers in the world at the Continental Cup, we made our way to the London Curling Club, which hosts some of the best high school curlers in the area. Yeah, I mean, curling's one of those sports, it's limited, you can only take so many people. It's not necessarily a popular sport, and part of the London Curling Club, and even at the high school level, we're trying to encourage that growth. At Lucas right now, we actually have five teams. We have two A teams and three B teams, um, or, or I would have had to have cut almost 30 people. So I believe this year in the league, we have five B teams. Um, so we're growing it that way and giving more kids opportunity to experience the sport. With a fluctuation in the number of competing teams each year, the schedule isn't always the same, so the game and practice schedules can vary. The uh, convener, Lori Huffman, uh, this year for Thames Valley, has done a great job of trying to balance it off. So on most game days, on Monday and Thursday, we have both A teams and B teams playing at the same, place, t same time, and we actually have some extra ice time where other teams get a chance to do some individual practicing or play some scrimmage games against each other. We try to, um, at, the, at the A level for sure, they have sort of designated positions, but they do have the ability to flop back and forth depending on the game uh, or injuries or missing students. And in the B League, we try and give them an opportunity to do both so that they learn and understand the game better. Lucas has competitive teams in boys and girls curling. Both teams aspire to go to WASA and AFSA, led by students that also curl outside of school competition. Um, we play most Mondays and Thursdays here at London Curling Club, and we sometimes have practices, but usually just games. And I started last year um, in grade nine, and this is the second year, and we're hoping to go to Wassa and hopefully Offsa too. So, yeah. uh, I've curled with Lucas for two years now. Uh, last year was my first year. We did pretty good, and second year, yep, it's very fun. Uh, right now we're in first place, uh, three wins and a tie. We hope to keep that rolling, head to Wassa and hopefully Offsa after. The two people that you just interviewed, Nate and uh, Scotia, have played through the junior program here and are very high level curlers, but we have also beginners. So um, some of the people on our team have never curled before or getting back into curling. So we have all levels throughout all the high schools that are uh, represented here. All regular season games take place at the London Curling Club and the athletes have nothing but positive things to say about the facility. It's very well maintained. It's, it's very good ice. Everyone's nice. Great manager. As Coach Stevenson mentioned earlier, curling is not always the most popular sport among high school students, but the students are given plenty of opportunity to learn the sport and grow their skills throughout the season. Yeah, I think just come out and try it. And we have learned to curl programs here at the London Curling Club. Just come out and try it. You'll have a blast. You'll meet some new friends. It's awesome. Um, at high school, it's a great way to get started. You kind of figure out how it works and what it's all about. And then there's also programs, junior programs. Um, here at London, they have a junior program that's really good. Try it. It really is a fun sport. It's incredibly social, and it's something that kids can do for the rest of their lives. You have people that are here at the London Curling Club that have curled for 30, 40, 50 years. You have people that curled way back in their 20s and have, have refound it again, refound that love for the game. And the Learn to Curl program here is exceptional, and it encourages kids to learn how to play the game, to love the game, and grow the game, and uh, something they can do for the rest of their life. Reporting from the home team, I'm Laura Everett. And that's all for this episode of The Home Team. I'm your host, Jeff Shaughnessy. If you have an interesting sports story you'd like to share with us, you can get in touch with us on Twitter, at Home Team RTV. Until next time, whether you're cheering from the stands or the couch, The Home Team has you covered. Thanks for watching.